The Bald Mamba, the Bald Eagle, the Caruso, and even the Goat, Alex Caruso has become a fan favorite league-wide. From Texas A&M Ball Boy, yep, you heard that right, he was a ball boy. I've been looking forward to this for five, six years when I was a ball boy for a and Ball boy to a full ride scholarship. Sounds like a movie script. To Texas A&M college player, to going undrafted in the NBA draft, to playing on the Lakers summer league team and G League team, to out of nowhere dunking on Kevin Durant and the Warriors and becoming a meme lord. Rondo three up high and off the oh! Caruso parachutes in! You cannot stop him! You can only hope to continue! He has taken the league by storm and has undoubtedly become a valuable player for LA. He became popular from the memes and his lack of hair, but we Laker fans really love him for his heart and hustle all game long. He is not the most talented player on the court, but he is always trying to outwork everyone. It's not only the fans who love him either. The Lakers reportedly denied multiple teams trying to acquire him at the trade deadline. He is obviously valuable and often ends up being in the end of games due to his ability to defend and make game-changing plays. Right now, he averages only about 5.5 points, about 2 assists, and 2 rebounds per game in a little under 20 minutes a game. He's never averaged over 10 points a game since playing high school either, and although he can get hot, he is not a knockdown shooter. No, his numbers aren't incredible and he doesn't blow you away with physical attributes, he isn't a knockdown shooter again, he isn't a top 10 athlete in the league, although he is very underrated athletically. And you can't define a player like Caruso with numbers. It's what makes him so valuable. He does things on the court that numbers don't fully show, and he has at times turned the momentum of a game around to help his team win. He's always been this way too. He's played the same way in high school, college, and the G League. He's willing to pick up anyone on defense, and his good size at 6'5", along with his underrated athletic ability and tremendous effort help make him plays that others would not make. He is a very smart defender as well. He communicates well with his teammates on defense and sees plays happening before they happen which translates to him getting steals and unexpected blocks from behind. Common stats don't really show his value, but advanced stats on defense do show that he has a 1.4 defensive win shares value, which is the estimate of the number of wins a player has contributed to the team due to his defense as well as a 2.4 defensive box plus minus value, which shows his value on defense while well in the game compared to an average player on defense. Offensively, he is very intelligent as well. He averages over two assists for every turnover he makes, which is very impressive for someone who isn't playing point guard very often. Finally, you can't undervalue the value he brings to the locker room and team chemistry. The fans obviously love him, but his team loves him as well. No one gets the bench more hype than when Caruso makes a highlight play and flashes the headband like the goat he is. He's a big reason why this loaded Laker team has been able to build a good team bond so quickly and that has translated to wins. Overall, he's not just an internet meme or an occasional highlight player. He's a legitimate contributor to a winning team and has the potential to be a starting point guard in the future. And I think he has the potential to fill a Patrick Beverly type role in the starting lineup. I love him and I know a lot of other Laker fans do too. Long live the legend of Alex Crusoe. And if you liked the video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.